Hello, my reading friends. It's Miss Tatum. Do you think a person who makes a lot of bad choices can change? Well, today we're going to read a story about a little seed who's had a very hard life. Let's see if he can change his ways as we read The Bad Seed. If you have a copy, go and get it so you can read along with me. The Bad Seed, written by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Oswald. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, That seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, There goes the bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know. Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line. Every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born on a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark. Then, a giant! I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, but I was spit out at the last possible second. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay. But something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside of a soda can. I didn't care and it suited me. Until recently. I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. But I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies. And I do all kinds of other bad stuff. But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look! There goes that bad seed! Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard 
heard that. This is one of my favorite stories. I really like it because it shows that even though you have to overcome some hard obstacles, you can still make positive changes in your life and turn things around. I hope you enjoyed this story with me and I'll see you next time.